Good day. Like you can all see, this is the Camwood Tango Sugar 590 Sugar. Um, this is connected to the laptop with the software contest logging of November 1 Mike Mike. Now as you all know, I have this small project and problem that I would like to have the band data information of this radio to an external band data filter or a stack relay for example as for Oscar 3 Alpha. We would like to have this band data information to use at the contest location of Papa India 4 Delta X-Ray. You can check on www.pi4dx.com. Um, now this radio is not giving any band data information um, from itself, not on the back, no, no, it's not there. Um, but we would like to have this option and I would like to have this band data information without destroying or opening the radio. So I would like to keep it original. Now this radio is connected to the computer via RS-232. So I thought, well, let's make an RS-232 sniffer with special program software, which will provide me the same BCD code output, like for example, Jesu is giving standard on the back. For an FT-1000 is giving the ABCD for the band data information. Um, we are used an Atmel small pick, and this program is, uh, is not programmed by me, but by my friend, Marcel Haas. He is not an ham radio, a colleague of me, but he is very clever. So when I talked about him, about this problem, um, we made a small program and we put it in this pick of Atmel. Um, Atmel is of course using uh, a TTL data information, so this MAX232 is converting it back again to RS232 levels. Um, what you can see here, this is the LED of just normal power. And this is the LED blinking and it's only saying that the program is running of the pick. Now, if I give this uh, RS-232 data to my small radio and I will connect this November 1 Mic Mic software to the TS-950, now it's connected, you can see the flash Flashing of the LED is much faster as before. This will state that he is receiving RS-232 data. What we see here is 010-1010 of course. And this is the band data information of 20 meter. For example, if we go to 160, it should be 1. And what you can see here, it's running on 1. Like this is 80 meter, 80 meter, 40 meter, 40 meter, 30 meter, 20, 17, 15 meter, 12, and 10. Um, we are using this as a contest location software, so I programmed this pic for when it's out of band, like for example 6 meter, it's giving zero, but it's of course easy to change the settings. For example, if we go to 20 meter and we go way out of band, um, it will go also to zero, zero, zero. So now, we had this problem. What should be happening when this computer is resetting for any reason? If you are giving a CQ contest with stack antenna relays and amplifiers and so on, um, it will be a shock if this BCD coder would change if something happens to the computer. We solve this problem, problem with changing the software. For example, I will shut down the software of November 1 Mike Mike. This software should be running, otherwise my device will not work. So now the program is closed and you will see that the last band data information will still be there. Even if I close the radio, now the radio is turned off, the band data information is still on the last band. So this was a small explanation 
of my small device RS232 sniffer which you can easily use if you want to use any stack antenna band data pass filters to Forask 3 Alpha or whatever. Very nice thing and it should be in this Kenwood radio standard but it's like it's not there so why not make it ourselves. Thank you and if you want to order this kit you can send me an email pa3gbq at yahoo.com This print is developed by PA3GBQ and by Marshall Haas, a non ham but a very clever guy and I thank him very much to help me with this project. Goodbye and 73.